All right, today we are going to talk about the latest buzz in the market, Lynx by ByteDance. Hi, my name is Afzal. If you have seen my past videos, you might know that I'm a mobile application developer with more than a decade of experience. Today we are looking at Lynx. Before we actually see how to work with it, let's understand what is Lynx. You all must have used TikTok application. Lynx is developed by the same company, ByteDance. It was in-house product before it became public on March 5th, 2025. Lynx is a cross-platform UI toolkit based on HTML and JavaScript, just like React Native. It also comes with debugging tool, which you have to download and run separately. We'll talk more about that later in this video. But before we proceed with installation and running a simple project with Lynx, let's understand how it differs from Flutter. Lynx actually maps all its HTML views to native equivalent component. So there's a bridging process. Whereas in Flutter, all the widgets are drawn directly on canvas with dedicated rendering engine. The trade-off is you get native component with Lynx, but customization becomes difficult. On the other hand, you get flavored component with Flutter and it's highly customizable. The main claim of Lynx is that it utilizes the main thread effectively. Instant first frame rendering, IFR, by briefly blocking the main thread until the first frame is fully rendered. Now let's understand how to get started with Lynx. Lynx can be executed through NPM, which manages all the packages and dependencies. You will first have to install Node.js if not already installed. You can check that by running the command which node. If it returns the path, then you are good to go. Otherwise, you can visit Node.js website and install it according to your OS and the version. To create a new project, use rspd package and with the command npm create rspd at latest, provide the project name, select other preferences and you are done. Just like any other npm based project, Go inside the directory and install all the dependencies and then execute the command npm run dev. And here comes the interesting part. RSPD will generate a link with QR code, which you can run inside a Lynx Explorer to see the output. You can download Lynx Explorer from the site based on your platform and just paste the link to start the application. Congratulations on your first run. Now let's also see what are the different components inside Lynx. Lynx provides different customized components for great user experience. Text, image, list, scroll view, and page. These are some of the customized components provided inside inbuilt in the Lynx. Uh, interestingly, it supports other HTML tags as well. So you can use uh, input, which is not mentioned here. And you know, I almost spent an hour searching document for input box and then realized that it is based on HTML and input tag should work just fine. There are different layout options also available with which you can create linear layout, relative layout and grid layout based on your design. And you can mix and match these components to create a beautiful UI. Debugging with links. Links also provides standalone dev tool with which you can debug your application. Ensure that Lynx Debug and Lynx DevTools switches are enabled inside the Lynx Explorer, and then you can run the application and you'll be able to debug. Not a big fan of web-based tools, but yes, you can tweak properties here and there and see the logs inside the console. As the blog says, it's not the end, it's just a beginning. We will have to wait and watch to see how it evolves over the time because we all have seen how Flutter started small and now became the most favorite choice for cross-platform development. That's it for this video. For more detailed tutorial, write down in the comment section and let me know also your feedback about links, whether it's gonna be a next tool for cross-platform development or it's just another tool which is going to fade away. Thank you so much once again. See you in the next one.